It was something new. It was like an adventure. And in the next year coming up, I want to try to have more adventures. It was so nice to have a little break, a mental break from everything going on. We get wrinkly backdrop today. We get cracked peeled nail polish. This is real life for me at least, which it's okay if it's not your real life. That just means you're doing better than I am. One day I'll get it together. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Okay, today's video is going to be a self-discovery slash story time because me and my best friend Mel did an eight mile hike. We did an eight mile hike. Eight mile hike. Did not know I was capable of doing that. So let's just get into it. It was a Tuesday. No, I take that back. It was a Wednesday. It was a Wednesday. And me and Mel had an idea to go to a trail in Greenville. And we've never been before. It was super fun. At first, it was just like very scenic. And it was beautiful out there. It was gorgeous. Then once we realized we were in too far and in too deep that we had to actually finish the trail instead of turning around and going back because that would take longer. And let me just walk you through what that was like for us. So we got there and there was a map at the entrance and we were looking at all the trails. We were trying to figure out which route we wanted to go. And online, I had seen a waterfall and a gazebo type area. So I knew I wanted to go there. We asked this mom who was going on the trail with her kids. We asked them, hey, like we've never been here before. We're looking for this, that, and the third. What trail is that? So she told us what trail it was. They're all color coded and they are numbered for how hard the trail is. And I was like, Mel, we can do this. Like, we got this, Let, let's do it. The trail we wanted with the waterfall was a level nine. We were like, come on, let's just do it. So we started the trail. We kept going and maybe like 10, 15 minutes in, we finally get to the place we were looking for. It wasn't even that far in. It wasn't that deep in. So we were like, oh my God, this is awesome. Let's take a couple pictures. And then once we get, it was kind of like on a hill and the waterfall was on the left. This old castle was on the right. And once we finally made it up like the stairs on the right hand side, we get to the top of the stairs and you just see this water with trees in the background, rocks, the sun was shining. It was gorgeous. It was so serene and peaceful and quiet because it was a Wednesday. Not a lot of people were there. And we had a blast. We sat there and drank some of our water and just took the scene in. We were trying to take our time and really just relax, be present and be in the moment. We sat there for a good five to 10 minutes, which it doesn't sound very long, but sitting there doing absolutely nothing but taking in the scene and listening to the birds, listening to the wind, it was so relaxing, so calming, and so peaceful. Even though it was rough at the end, it was probably the most fun we've had in a while. Every time me and Mel get together, we do have fun whether we're doing nothing or something. And this particular time was absolutely the funnest. We never laughed so hard in our life. So then once we realized we were like, okay, we've been sitting here for a little bit too long. Let's just go ahead and keep going, right? So then we kept going throughout the trail. It was fairly easy. 
we were like, wow, I don't understand. Like this said, it was a level nine. We were laughing about it. We were making jokes about it. We started joking too soon, I think. Probably not even 30 minutes later, the trail starts to get a little bit harder. And we were like, wow, okay, what is happening? <laughs> Uh, it doesn't even look like a big hill. Hill and ground. Oh, that's genius. Uh. Oh my gosh. There were more rocks in the ground that you had to step around so your feet were like angling at weird angles. It started going uphill, more incline. It was the funniest thing ever to us. So we realized after we kept going further in, we were like, oh, there's a lake, like a big lake up at the top of the hill and down around. So we were like, let's go to the lake. Let's just say we obviously didn't know what we were getting ourselves into and how far into the trail we would go. So we pulled up the map online and once we pulled up the map, we knew which direction to go because most of the trails intertwine with each other and tell you how to get from trail to trail. So on the way to the lake, we just, we were having so much fun. We didn't really pay attention to time. We finally made it to the lake and I was so happy. We got to stand on top of the hill and just look down into it. And it was breathtaking. It was, it was like the further we went into the trail, the more beautiful it got and the more peaceful it got. It was just so nice to get out, especially with Corona and everything else going on in the world. It's to have a little break, a mental break from everything going on. So once we found the lake, we were like, let's walk around a little bit and see if there's a good spot for us to sit and eat our one granola bar. Like five minutes later, we came across this opening and we were like, ooh, what's in that? It wasn't like a, it wasn't like a big opening. It was a small opening that led down into like a hidden trail. So we were like, let's go look down here. Maybe it'll bring us like right up to the water. So we go through it and come to find out it's like a picnic area or like a camping area. It had a campfire, stuff you can hang things on, a picnic table, and it was kind of like right on the water. It was so nice. So we were like, okay, let's chill here, eat our granola bar, refuel, and look back up at the map. And then once we looked up at the map and realized how long it was going to take us to get back, we were like, whoa, we got to, um, we got to keep moving. We're a little bit far, we're a little bit further out than what we thought. So we ate our granola bar and we just had to keep moving and keep pushing through. We were like, whoa. By this time, we were so tired. Our feet were hurting, our backs were hurting, my ankles were hurting from the ground not being level and your foot just constantly doing like this. It was just, the land wasn't flat. Oh my gosh. We underestimated it quite a bit and got our butt kicked. We're gonna go back one day, maybe when it's not so cold and do it all over again. Maybe we'll take a different path this time. We'll see how that goes. See how Mel feels. <laughs> After we took our break and we realized, okay, we gotta keep it pushing. We were, I think about three hours in. <laughs> quite, quite a good bit. That's quite a good bit. And uh, we were like, we've gotta hurry because we got there at 10, 10 30, we didn't leave until four and a half hours later. Like when we finally made it out, it was four and a half hours later. We didn't know how long it would take to actually get out. So we were like, man, we gotta hurry. The sun goes down at like four, five. 
we kind of started freaking out because we didn't want to be in there when the sun started going down. So once we realized how further out we were, we definitely had to start picking up the pace. So I was like, come on, man, we gotta run. <laughs> we gotta jog through this trail now. A trail that, a trail that we originally went to, to just take our time and be scenic and slow our pace in a more slower pace fashion be present, enjoy the moment. Just turned into a disaster. <laughs> but it was so fun. It was so fun. Until it was time to jog. And at first Mel thought I was crazy. And she was like, girl, we cannot jog out of here. I was like, girl, we're gonna have to. The sun is gonna go down soon. And we don't know how long it's gonna take to get out of here. So she was like, yes, girl, let's do it. So I was like, all right, let's do it. We gotta go for it. So we kept jogging, we kept jogging and we took a break where our second to last trail was. Looked it up, made sure we were going in the right direction. And then once we realized we were on the right path, I swear we took off again. We jogged, I wanna say the last hour of it it was rough, but we did it. But <laughs> I definitely fell twice. <laughs> I fell twice. The first time was not my fault. First time was not my fault. It was a tree branch root and the root was like grown up and humped over in the path. And there was a pocket hole and my foot went in the pocket and I couldn't get my foot out because the tree branch had, was like over my foot. My foot was in the hole. Couldn't get my foot out. So I just fell. I fell so slowly. I don't even know how I didn't catch myself. <laughs> but my right knee and my right hand got banged up, right? And I was like, crap, I knew I was gonna fall. And then we kept going, we kept going. <laughs> we looked up on the map, I think one last time. And we were like, oh my God, we're so close. We're so close. And then we let other joggers go by because I guess everybody goes jogging at this trail and I don't know why well at the end of the trail that we were at the trail is so tiny so we had to let the joggers go by so once we did that we picked up jogging again and we were like I want to say 10 minutes away from the car not even 10 minutes and I tripped again for a second time I just don't understand how how it happened a second time Second time was my fault though, because I couldn't pick up my feet. <laughs> I was so exhausted. My feet were so heavy. It was just no getting around it. It wasn't, it just, I couldn't get around it. It was too late. But even though I fell twice, I would still do it again. It was super fun. And not only were we tired, exhausted, we just could not stop laughing at every little thing we came across. Every little thing was just completely hilarious. It was very eventful. And I thought it was so funny. I just couldn't believe we were talking so much junk in the beginning, in the beginning of the trail. And we were like, if four year olds can do this, we can do this. I don't think those four year olds went that far into the trail. Cause it was difficult. It was difficult. The hardest part was definitely the first hill that led to the second waterfall. We did not realize how steep that was gonna be. It was like, oh my gosh, are we ever gonna get up this hill? But at the top of the hill, you kind of walk down a little bit and around and there was this quiet little waterfall that was moving pretty fast. And the crazy thing is, Mel was like, come on, let's fill up our water bottles. And I was like, what, with this water? And she was like, girl, yes, come on, let's do it. It'd be the best water you ever tasted. I doubted her. And now I see that she was right. It was the best water I have ever tasted. It was amazing. I wanna go back to the trail just so I can get some water. It was amazing.
but I can see you not feeling that way if you don't like water. Like you would have to be a big fan of water. <laughs> it was super fun, it was super difficult, it was something new, it was like an adventure. And in the next year coming up, I wanna try to have more adventures. Whether it's something simple, small, big, easy, hard, whatever it is, I wanna have more adventures. I'm gonna hold myself to that, so I should write that down somewhere. But yeah, I hope you guys like, well, some of you guys, and whether you're here for makeup or here for mental health, if you're here for makeup, I hope you like this cranberry look. <laughs> and I hope you guys enjoyed this story time. It's obviously a short one, because there was nothing else to it. But I did want to share that because me and Mel did not think that we could go over eight miles. We did four and a half hours in the trail over eight miles and it was I think 18,000 steps. I'll put in the screenshot and it was super fun. We never thought we'd be able to do that and we pushed ourselves and we did it. You can do anything you want to do. You can do anything. You can do anything you want to do. If you put your mind to it, Bobo, do it. What are you waiting for? So yeah, that was our adventure. I hope I get to do another one soon. And stay tuned. I will have another video out next week, Friday, 7.45 p.m. All right, guys, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you next week. Bye. Why do I start off every video saying I'm super excited? I've got a problem. Being comfortable on my own. Loving it, I can handle it. Y'all ever get songs stuck in your head? And just literally can't get them out? <laughs> Stay tuned for next week's video. I owe oh, oh. <laughs> All right, and don't forget to like. Why do I shake my knees every time? All right, don't forget to like, share. I just don't know how to do this anymore. What is happening? Cute. What I've realized is that I have a deep set eye. And this part in my crease is more further back versus being pushed forward. And so I don't like to do a lot of deep colors in my crease and make it look more pushed back. So I usually just wear it on the lid and slightly blend it out because it's makeup and it washes right off. Don't mind this background, okay? I didn't iron it. I don't have an iron. And I got here late, and so the sun is like peeking through the blinds, is what it is. This is real life, okay? For me, at least. And the funny part is when we got done and we finally got out of the woods and we were approaching the parking lot these two dudes were like hey did you enjoy your hike and we were like we've been in there for four and a half hours <laughs> that's eight miles and they were like what you should be proud of yourself and having and having a stranger tell me i should be proud of myself it just really sinks in like you should be proud of the small things you do not just the big things. It takes a lot. Don't forget to love yourself. Maybe that should be my message to me.